Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Heavenly Parent Holy Community, Oceania Hundoke with Reverend Yataki Yamada. Today being Thursday, the 9th of December or the 6th of November in the ninth year of Chongyongku. Let's begin by offering a bow to our Heavenly Parents and True Parents, Chariot, Kyongbe, Haro. And let's recite our family pledge, both in Korean and English. Thank you. Family pledge number five. Our family, the owner of Chong Il Guk, pledges to strive every day to advance the unification of the spirit world and the physical world as subject and object partners by centering on true love. Maybe we can ask. Uh, Thank you. All right, let's pray. Our beloved heavenly parents, true parents of heaven and earth and humankind and beloved Jesus, saints and sages, thank you so much for another day that we can grow, we can know you more and know our true parents and unite more and become one in mind and heart in unity, Father, centering um, in unity, one with our true mother, with our true parents and with the um, providence in, at hand which is the unification of, of um, Korea, uh, the restoration of one nation, Father, completely centering on our true parents. Thank you so much for our brothers and sisters' um, attention, attendance to our true parents and to one another. And thank you for Reverend Yamata's, um, Yamata's uh, dedication and uh, John's and all the brothers and sisters here at this platform and those who are not. Father, we pray that uh, for your love and to be one um, in heart and mind. In true parents' beloved names, I pray. Ah, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> and let's uh, give a warm welcome to Revenue Tucker as he shares this morning. Good morning, no brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining this morning, Kundoke. Today's morning is also a beautiful morning. You can see it outside. Really, we can see, we can feel the weather. Every day looks the same, but every day also different. We could see new hope, new wish, and also new plan by our heavenly parents and two parents together with our old brothers and sisters. Let's put the chanson in heart and let's begin the great day for our heavenly parents and two parents. So thank you for joining. So now when we see that each nation, uh, there is some kind of uh, infl influence of uh, Omicron, COVID. Looks like this is not so much serious, but of course we have to be careful all the time because of this one, the national situation or international situation is affected. Some nation cross down or some is also giving some uh, limitation or et cetera. So we really wish to be solved or to find the solution quickly. Especially February 11 to February 14, Trimada is preparing for peace summit and also the religious summit and the uh, rally of hope for unification between North and South Korea. So currently we could not see the kind of the adjustment Maybe only 400 people could go and another person will be joining through online or a several way. And also the Korean uh, presidential election will be held on March 9th. So this time period is important time period. They are all Johnson and all heart together. And really we will, we wish that we will wish the person who are prepared by God. We wish the person will be chosen by heavenly parents and through parents. So continuously pray for Korea and pray for the world. 
And this time, December 14, uh, we are having also the PCLC second online fellowship. So the good news of Christmas, PCLC will carry on to the role of Christianity to become the platform to invite and also to connect all Christian leader, Christian pastor, congregation, and also community as the platform to go together and to create heaven's family, create, uh, create God's family, create God's community, and create God's world, and fulfill vision 2027, and to create God's kingdom of heaven on earth. So those role of Christianity is really important. So yesterday we had a special meeting with one of the Christian pastor. I'm not sure last time I share this person. So last time uh, we uh, invited this person to go to Korea uh, December 5, 1 million rally. We invited this person, Christian pastor. So before we call, this person received the dream. Then he said, I received the God's divine appointment through dream. And already packed everything. So when Reverend John called that person, suddenly he shed, started to shed tears because I received God's divine appointment. And I already packed all luggage to go to Korea. Then our Reverend John called him. That's he was so surprised. So last time he mentioned like this. So yesterday we met again, uh, we met him in the Peace Embassy and we asked several things, what's happened. And when he arrived to Peace Embassy, he is Orthodox Catholic and he found out our three parents photo and he saw that through mother's face. And he said, this person I saw in the dream, he didn't join the inauguration ceremony so he didn't see the mother's face but when when he when he saw the three parents photo and mother's face and he said i saw this person's face and this person appeared to my dream and he wear the green cross and he she continuously told me restoration and restoration you have to receive new words and you have to start new beginning so through dream the true mother mentioned to him directly and when he come to our peace embassy and he was so much surprised and really even he shared this message to us with tears that's why really god or even spiritual world is preparing they are and even to parents is giving direction to each christian pastors i think not only christian pastors Really prepared person awaiting the moment. That's why how we will approach, how we will open the way, and everything will be connected. If those person could have the spiritual experience, they cannot forget anything. That's why yesterday we are we are so surprised and we are inspired more when we listen his story. So really, even we don't meet yet but already God is preparing the person and those person are waiting the moment who we will invite. At the moment, we will invite and approach. That's why I think we are so much surprised and great. Maybe you can have many experience and I think you have already experienced. If you have those story, please share to us and we could report to Trimada the mother will be inspired also the mother also will gain the power through those our stories so they are in tower 2027 and in the moment with the mother let's put our heart devotion and they show that is now working through people directly so anyway yesterday it was great uh, moment so next um tuesday december 14 this pastor will give a short testimony about dream and about your mother so also our brother and sisters will join together at 5 p.m sydney time uh, next tuesday 
So this is really good things. So let's begin the Funoke. Now we are reading the True Mother's True Mother Hakcha Hanbun and Anthology. This is the first book. True Mother had the five books, and this is the first book and the first part. So yesterday we share this part. And Mother said, those angels should have taken care of and protected Adam and Eve, but the Archangel Lucifer instead seduced Eve and led her to fall. The other angels near Adam and Eve should have protected them as well and not given the Archangel, uh, Archangel Lucifer the opportunity to cause them to fall. So what is the role of Archangel? Archangel should guide Adam and Eve and should have protected Adam and Eve, but they could not do this one, Trimada said. When God created Adam and Eve, that moment in the Garden of Eden, who were there? God was there, Adam and Eve were there, and also three archangels, and there are many angels there. So they have to protect, guide Adam and Eve, and let them, and that they have to fulfill God's vision and ideal. But because of human fall, all God's ideal was destroyed and could not start even. And the forum history was started. So let's see the next part. God created Adam and Eve after creating all other things in the world based on the ideal of creation. He had Adam and Eve go through a growth process, wishing for them to reach the standard by which they could stand on an equal footing with God himself and participate in the work of creation. God's ideal was to bless Adam and Eve and thus form three generations. However, our first ancestors failed to fulfill their responsibility and human history has unfolded in the world completely and released to God, unrelated to God. In other words, humanity fell into a world owned by Satan. So God had the, the ideal, God ideal creation, ideal of creation in the beginning. Of course, now also same. And when God created Adam and Eve, God tried to give blessing and God wished them to become the true parents and to create true family and to create true tribe and to create true nation and world. So God wished them to create eternal ideal world. The living together with three generations is also the same. If they create the ideal tribe and nation, not only three generations, 10 generations, 100 generations have to stay. Can, they can stay together with our heavenly parents. But because of human fall, all plan was changed. Our original plan was destroyed. And they, could, they went to the different foreign history. So those things we could see and how God spent the time had lead the providence to restore the children of God. So God invested continuously, God led all history as the creator of human beings and also as the parents of human beings. God really wish children to stand again, to come back again as the heaven's son and heaven's daughter and to create heaven's family and create heaven's world and the ideal created world. This is the human history. And actually this history is not only human history. This history is God's history. So what's happened in the Garden of, Garden of Eden? God, Adam and Eve, three archangels. So yesterday also we discussed with Reverend John several things. Archangel have a responsibility or archangel 
doesn't have a responsibility, right? And also God said, don't eat the fruit. So this word is going to Adam and Eve. God said this word to Adam and Eve, or God said this word to Archangel. And there is what kind of situation is happened. So when we study God's word, this is good things. You can have many questions, but you know, true father said, I gave all solution in 1,000 books. True mother also giving the answers. That's why when we have a question or when we think several things or when we challenge or face the difficulty, we can go back to God's word and find the word. And if you found the word and to solve the solution, solve the problem, you could gain more conviction. You can feel more power. You can gain the new spiritual inspiration. That's why reading Fundok and prayer and find the word, find the word, find, find the way. This is really important and precious habit and uh, important effort. So how to the parents is giving the message and what kind of contents to the parents sharing to us. So we also try to find research and learn and we live, apply in our daily life and we really fulfill God's vision and God's dream. So really exciting to read and find the God's word. So today also great. So let's go to the Chon Sung Gyon, uh, the word of three parents. So this is the, so we will go from section one from number 28 because last time we read already until 27 so this chon song Gyeon, we will read from number 28 if you have please read so every day we will start from this point this 28 then going to uh, the next page continuously so god guides the providence in history so how god had led the providence so this, this topic is also same topic which Tirumada shared today, right? So Tirumada, Tirumada introduce, inter, is introducing about God. So each topic and each session have a special topic. And also there are Tirumada is sharing, Tirumada is sharing. So through reading message, also we will have find the God's heart, even also the secret and behind the, behind the story. So this part, let's be together. God did not just come into existence at this moment in history. He does not only relate to one's personal emotional life. God has ex existed from the past to the present. That is, he has existed all throughout history, but in passing down his work from generation to generation, his intention is not to remain in the background of time, traipsing after people who pursue their private purposes immersed in themselves. So who is God? What kind of existence God is? After human fall, after Adam and Eve's fall, continuously God invested and carry on all providence centering on each central figures. And now year 2021, God is living together with us, but not only our time, in the past, our grandparents' time, our ancestors' time, 2000 years ago. And before that, continuously, God was there. God was invested and God was also created the history. God will surely continue to advance the providence and pursue his will through those who first become aware of the providence and who brighten history based on the foundation they build in their lives. These are people who take a position that is public and not that is public, not private. So through righteous people, God continuously led the providence even this moment so i share the dream of the christian pastors god through dream god 
through the people, God, through the situational environment, continuously call the people who are prepared and to work the progress. So we could see the principle of restoration and divine principle, we know the old history, right? By what means can we hold on to God? It is through our sincere devotion. Nowadays, we enjoy freedom of religion through no persecution. God brought about this time in which we enjoy freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, freedom of the press, and freedom of religion. This is preparation for the last days. That is to say, religious freedom has been bestowed thanks to God who willed it. Thus, in this age, we can put our lives on the line and devote ourselves to God without limit and we will not be persecuted. So, having the life of faith to find God and find religion or having religion in some ages or in some nation, even believe God, even having the religion itself, even having the life of faith itself was challenged and it was also the dangerous situation at that moment. Some moment, if they believe God, if they have a life of faith, they had received the persecution. They were in the imprisonment. And when they say the word of God, they received some kind of the torturing. There was that moment. So offering chanson, offering prayer to find God, talk about God, Together, organize the fundoke, organize also prayer. Actually, looks like this is already normal and natural things, but depends on the nation or depends on the age. This is actually not normal things. But when we see the current situation, God created at that moment through God's sacrifice and investment. When we see the nation of Oceania, Oceania nation, Basically, every nation has freedom, right? When you believe God, nobody capture you, right? So this is really Oceania area is good things. But I saw the newspaper about North Korea. You know North Korea. They get some video about Korean, uh, recently Netflix, some uh, squid game. Some Korean movie was so much famous, right? I saw some newspaper that North Korean people get this video, Squid Game, and they watch. That's why the Korean government saw that and captured that person and uh, put the imprisonment. And the person who brought this video, that, was, that person was killed. That's why even watching video, even talking about things, even talking about God and having religion, not only North Korea, some nation, still many people are under pressure or under control and they could not have freedom. That's why we have a freedom. We can talk whatever we want. We can say anything. This is actually special grace and really great blessing. So Father is mentioning that God continuously created the environment and now we could have freedom in our area. So Father said that in this age, we can put our lives on the line and devote ourselves to God without limit and we will not be persecuted. So this itself is really great blessing. As the time of persecution has passed, passed we must become people of heart. We must treasure within us the heart that God experienced throughout history. God is not the God of one particular time period. He is the God of history. He is the God who has toiled hard through countless saints and sages who represented him throughout history to save all of you to this day he has allowed many people to walk a path of persecution even to the point of martyrdom. That is why I say he is the God of history. 
So Tripathi said, we must treasure within us the heart of heart that got experienced throughout history. So God is as our parents. Continuously, we could see God's investment and God's history. That's why we should find what was the heart of God at that moment. We know the story about Adam and Eve. God created Adam and Eve. God loved so much, but Adam and Eve committed sin and they failed. We know the story, but at that moment, how was the heart of God? When we see the God point of view, how God feel, feel, how God felt in each moment. Now Adam and Eve were born from the kind the from the baby. And now growing, Adam and Eve grow up one year old, two years old, three years old. God was so much inspired and happy to see them. And when they grow up, they will call God, our father, heavenly father, heavenly parents. How God was happy, right? And exciting. Ah, now Adam grew up. Ah, now Eve is growing up. So much God was happy. There was the heart of God that moment. Now they became 10 years old, 12 years old. Almost they are growing and maturing. And now God is preparing. I want to give blessing. I want to share the great message to my son and daughters. I want to give the benediction prayer. At the moment when they become the certain age, God was really exciting and waited that moment. But in the same time, Archangel Lucifer seduced and brought them and they started to do something, hiding from God. They did something and they committed something. And finally, they showed a dark face. They avoided God and they committed sin, which God said, don't commit sin. So when God see Adam and Eve, their beautiful face, exciting face, and after that, God saw them, their suffering face, their struggle face, struggling face, and their miserable face. How was God's heart? And finally, they left God, then they went out with Satan. So there was God's heart behind of the story. Not only Adam and Eve, how about Cain and Abel time? We know the story, Cain and Abel. God asked them to prepare the offering. God had a plan. God wished to restore. Adam Abel loved Cain well. Cain loved Abel well, unite together to come back God. God wished them. God had this kind of heart, but also they fail again, even elder brother killed younger brother. So how was that time God's heart? Even Noah's time, right? And Abraham's time. Each moment, God had the heart expecting, wishing them, please, please overcome. I wish you, you can surely overcome. You can feel my heart. You can do that. God consciously wished to through each center of figures, wishing and believing and trusting. And again, fail and fail, but still God find a new person and wishing again, willing again, praying again, and invested again and again. So each moment, what was God's heart, Moses and Jesus and Christianity and each religion and currently, God sent our true father and true mother and true parents stood here to offer and to create the victorious foundation. And not only our true parents, who are they beside of them? Actually, each of us and each of you also same. God is consciously loving you. God is consciously guiding you and wishing you. Sometimes God have to have have to give that challenging situation or severe situation. But, and also God is looking at, you are suffering, try to overcome and could not overcome. Fail many times, struggling many times, want to give up everything. But God continuously waiting you, wishing you and loving you, please overcome. You can overcome, you can do that. You can go back to God. 
through our selves, through our central figures, through our history. There was God. There was heart of God. That's why Father said we have to understand heart of God behind of history. How many investments are there? How many sacrifices are there? And ask all of you, how many stories do you have? Actually, each moment, suffering moment, and happy moment, or struggling moment, or grateful moment, God is always together with us and they are wishing and loving and guiding that. That's why how we can recognize and understand and heart of God and wish of God. This is really important things. So this part really Father is mentioning, we have to understand heart of God behind of history. So when we look at our history, we see that the world's cultures are being absorbed into large cultural spheres based on religion. We witness the Christian culture sphere in the dem democratic world. The Far Eastern cultural sphere of Confu Confu Confucianism, Buddhism, and Zen. The Hindu cultural sphere in India and the Islamic cultures, cultural sphere. Over thousands of years, human cultural cultures have been gradually absorbed by these religious spheres. This is similar to a situation where all the component parts are gathered in a repair shop to be assembled into a whole. Through this, we can discern the presence of God and his work. So in order to guide the people, God continuously invested and created several religion and through religion. Looks like each religion has totally different nature, but purpose is same. God wish the people to come back God and to become the children of God, to receive God and to receive blessing and to create God's ideal creation. This is the purpose of religion and the meaning of the religion. So God continuously guided the people through history and through religion. So how about our God's investment and heart? So today, especially, Three parents mentioning about the heart of God in the history. When we see the history, we should find that. And even when we see our history, we should find God. What was God's heart? When I was five years old time, when I was 10 years old time, when I was mission in Africa, when I was receiving blessing that time, how was God's heart? And now, how, was, how is God's heart? When we find, when we connect, when we ask God, surely God share his heart and we are his wish and his love. So today we will begin the new day, but always let's connect our God's heart, seek God's heart, and then we live together with God. And let's offer the happiness and grateful things to our heavenly parents and true parents. So once again, thank you for joining today's morning Kundoke. Let's offer the great moment. Thank you very much. Kamsamida. Thank you very much, Reverend Yutaka. Thank you for sharing our, uh, our true parents' words with us, that we can uh, uh, see more clearly uh, the, the truth that you are guiding us. Uh, uh, the, the, yeah, the solution, as you said, is in God's word, which is the truth. Uh, uh, and uh, the, the word that mostly caught me this morning was the freedom. Uh, you know, how uh, freedom only comes about when we know the truth, because you know, we, we hear that the, you know, uh, the truth sets us free. Uh, and and free, freedom uh, means that we can... Uh, able to use our responsibility you know we it enables us to free our hearts so that we can uh, understand god's heart uh, when when we're not free uh, we're not clear we're confused 
uh, and uh, we need you know to to study God's word and you know to research and learn. You know that's why uh, uh, regularly you know, have doing hundoke, you know, re reading and Father's word, so that we can understand the truth, so we can find the solution, you know, and so we can be free. Uh, you know, we need to live God's word so that we can you know, find freedom or become free. You know? And uh, uh, you, as you're sharing, uh, that's, we have to do that through sincere devotion and offering. And, and God regrets that he had to uh, let the people sacrifice themselves, you know, even become martyrs because you know, they were we are following uh, sincerely, you know, God, so that they could, you know, really become you know, what God you know, expected us to be. You know? And uh, you know, so freedom is, is, a, is a real thing because uh, we uh, maybe sometimes forget that uh, one of the uh, results of the fall is that Adam and Eve lost their freedom. Uh, they no longer you know, follow uh, their original heart, or we, we don't uh, do that so often. And that's why it's important to read God's word and then to practice it and then to you know, become free. And we need to be free and clear and pure in heart to be able to uh, you know, become, you know, what God wants us to become. Uh, and if we're not free, uh, you know, it opens the way, unfortunately, you know, to be filled with fear uh, and uh, regret. So uh, we need to invest ourselves. So there are some thoughts. I mean, our freedom is a big thing. Uh, 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 both sides of the world are. Uh, whether communist or or democratic, they're they're pushing for freedom, uh, and but the the meaning of freedom uh, is not the same, uh, and we need to study God's word so that we really do understand what the truth is and what true freedom really is and how to embody it. So there are just some thoughts I had, and uh, thank you, everyone, and open it up. Uh, yes, Jacinda, go ahead. Um, Ian and I were watching a movie last night made in Sydney, made in Australia, uh, called Alex and Eve. It's like a love story. Have you seen this, John? <laughs> no. It's about the Greek community and the uh, Lebanese fighting over um, who, you know, who invented baklava and all this kind of stuff. <laughs> anyway, it's very funny, but it's also about communities at war, you know, in the, in Australia and how they was the, this couple who actually decided to just be non-religious they came together in the end it's like they brought the communities together and they all danced together at the end you know with the beautiful music middle eastern music and everything but it was just gorgeous to see um you know the light the way in which people view each other changing and uh, softening up because the young people were just they just even though they were she the girl and it was almost ready to to just cave in and be completely um uh she was willing to just marry somebody whom her parents wanted her to marry but it was like he was such a heavy guy and he didn't actually love this so much he just wanted to be the right you know but um actually the spirit was you know, because you guys don't even get on and you, you hate one another, you know, we're going to be different. So I just felt that was uh, the spirit of an Australian nation coming out. It's like, no, we, we want a better world, you know. We want a world where people can 
dance together and be, they just rise out of that whole historical thing, you know. Anyway, just saying it's a good movie to watch. It was on, uh, I think it was on um, uh, SBS. Yeah. Anyway. Thank you, Jacinda. Uh, yes, now go ahead. Thank you. I was wondering, oh, what should I share this morning? Um, thank you for that story, Jacinta. And uh, it's really about a new beginning, isn't it? New beginning. And um, what struck me most about the reading was uh, the time now where we're free to to talk about religion without persecution. And um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I've had uh, amazing uh, experience. Um, like this, the spiral can really work with you, but um, our investment is to have a clear prayer of request as to what you want to happen. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I had this really clear um, request as to what I wanted to do. And it was only a very uh, quick, uh, short notice request to heaven <laughs> or to the spirit world um, that I had a plan to, to do um, daily study with my brother online, studying the principle. And he didn't know it, but I reported the day before and it was going to start the next day. So I, I prayed that um, that was possible. Uh, and, uh, and so I, made, I, I stuck to the plan and the next day I call and text and warned him that um, if he was available um, that day, which was on Monday, um, to to study and I will call him later, later on the day, which was the midday that I set. And so I did, and uh, he was so prepared. Uh, you know, he's been receiving the lectures before the lockdown with uh, Jeffrey Fires and Kathy. And um, so we haven't kind of uh, systematically studied for some time, but, you know, I, I keep in touch with him and um, yeah, and so it was amazing. We started, um, I thought, to read the, uh, the study guide. The, actually, I have a copy of the home study, home study guide, the volume of six, a set of um, the old home, home church um, study guide. Yeah, and so yeah, I lend that to him <clears throat> uh, maybe last year. Or this year and uh, so yeah he was reading it he was so receptive towards it you know and then uh, at the end uh, of the session it's one hour every day and he, and then I said okay uh, we'll do this again tomorrow and he said yeah <laughs> and so we did it the next day and then the next day <clears throat> he said we'll do this until <clears throat> we finish all the volumes you know, I'm thinking, yay, Spirit will already told him. I didn't have to tell him. But initial, my initial prayer was the plan. I set out the plan. That's So our, my part was to carry it through. And uh, yesterday, um, yesterday he said, oh, uh, the first thing he said was uh, Dr. Yong's uh, devotion, because he watched Dr. Yong's morning devotions as well. Um, and um, some, you know, most of the time. So, and that was about um, Jesus should have had a family. But um, yeah, I just feel uh, it is now time that I could actually, it's, it's so wonderful to be able to share the principle with your own family member. And um, yeah, really good. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Thank you.
Yes, Reverend Sadi, go ahead. Uh, well, good morning. Thank you, Reverend Utaka, for the wonderful message this morning. Always your voice is uh, like mother's, mother's voice speaking every morning. I uh, appreciate it so much. Um, just what struck me this morning was, uh, you know, God is, God is the God of history. He's always been there. And the religious freedom that he prepared for us so that we can freely, yeah, uh, we take for granted. Um, sometimes I hear in Samoa, um, yeah, we take for granted. Uh, the 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 thing I remember is uh, the father talking about the love race. We are the love race, and uh, yeah, we really are that in that um, in that uh, frame of mind. You know, as people talking about racism and all kinds of divisive things, gender and so forth. But uh, I remember father, you know telling us we are the love race and uh, you know God God lives vicariously through us you know um, through these things of blending cultures like Jacinta just talking about and when I hear John Reverend John you talking you know about your upbringing and I, 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 I can identify a lot of a lot of many things as well and oh yeah you know me too, me too, <laughs> you know, so yeah, God has been there always, and um, yeah, and, and that's uh, that's wonderful, but also a terrible thing, because, uh, you know, we, we live on, on that, uh, uh, how do you say, the age of transformation, isn't it, um, we are the ones creating, we are the ones creating every day. Yeah, so anyway, I just, I, I remember what Father said about being the love race. We are the love race. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Sati. Yeah, let's win the love race. Mm -hmm. We have time for one or two more. Uh, yes, Candice, go ahead. Good morning, everyone. Um, I just sort of had a flashback to when we were in England and um, just sort of thinking about our culture versus European English culture and how lucky we are that we're not steeped in history. <laughs> because, like, at one point we went past the Tower of London and there was literally a mile of people queuing to what, look at all the gallows and guillotines and things like that that went on in history. And um, like all the time you're in Europe, you feel surrounded by history, all the buildings, everything. And I know history is good, but I think in God's heart, it could be a suffering thing. And so in lots of ways, I'm grateful that we're living in such a modern countries. And this is why I think that, you know, Ocean, you know, unification begins in Oceania, because we're new. We don't have the sadness to remind God every day of what happened, you know? And so we can get on with new beginnings. So I'm really grateful that we're not surrounded by history. <laughs> You know, mm -hmm. I know it sounds bad, but being reminded of it all the time is quite depressing, I think. Yeah, that's all I want to say. <laughs> Thank you, Candice. Okay. That's... Yeah, that's, yes, Daniel. Uh, oh, uh, Daniel and Keita. Go ahead, go ahead, Daniel. Uh, I'm very brief. Uh, I was just saying, Candice, that's 
that's really um, that's really positive. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I never really thought much about like it, it's all it's all always it feels a bit like oh man, Europe's got all those those beautiful history you know things. But then when you think of God's perspective, maybe He doesn't. You know, <laughs> maybe it's not as happy as, as yeah. That's a really interesting perspective. I like that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Go ahead, Keitha. Oh yeah, just um, just to build on what Candice was saying. Yeah, uh, I I um, remembered when I when I went from New Zealand to uh, northern Germany and was there for eight years. And um, yeah, I remember my first. I think it was the first Christmas. I <clears throat> went from um, Germany into over to England to be with Tony's parents, and. Uh, the moment I left, oh, it was by bus, and the moment I came out of Germany, I just felt lighter. <laughs> I was, it was so profound. And then it got, and then we went through Holland, France, and actually um, England was the lightest. <laughs> um, perhaps that's because of my own ancestry, but um, yeah, that feeling of, of uh, the heaviness of Europe is, mm. is very real. And uh, <clears throat> And uh, we, of course, we, we have some historical burden in, in Oceania, but yeah, it is, it is so much lighter. It is so much lighter and <laughs> very, very, uh, yeah, grateful, grateful, yeah, <clears throat> for that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Keitha. Uh, thank you, everyone. It's actually we've come to that time again for us to uh, pray together. So I'll just. Uh, share the screen and uh, let's pray.
Adieu, adieu, adieu. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day and see you tomorrow. Wonderful. Great. New beginning. Yeah. <laughs> for everyone. <laughs> Good on you. Hi, Mrs. Arai, Mr. Arai. <laughs> Good on you, Nafa, witnessing the team. Yeah, no, nah, that was fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day. Yeah, <laughs>